question for you, for all of you, and for all artists. Do you recognize this voice? I am captured by a love story. She took part in the Eurovision Song Contest three times. Back in 1983, she became third. Then, in the 1991 contest in Rome, she won the whole thing and she took the whole Eurovision Circus to Malmo. How? Oh, that's a coincidence, right? Probably not. <laughs> and 15 years later, she took part again. And she made it to the top five again. Um, in 2007, she received an honor medal of the Swedish King in the eighth grade, something she's really proud of. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, artists, please put your hands together for Carola. in this year's Eurovision Song Contest and they all want to win Eurovision. Yeah, but I really, you won it! Yeah, but I really like what you said. Who said it? I was behind, I couldn't see who said that long speech. That, you, was, that was so wasn't good, that long. man. <laughs> that was so good, you know. I really, that was very, it was like in church. You know. It was good, good, good preaching. You're right, yeah, we should enjoy the ride and it's gonna mean a lot 
for them, you know, just now it means a lot, doesn't it? Just now it means, yeah. And all the connections. I'm a, it's the, I'm a godmother to, to an Israeli boy just because of the duration. You know, and we meet friends for life. And it's, it's, a, it's a fantastic journey, not only for your country, but for your life and for other countries. Mm? And we do stand together, we should stand together in this. Music binds us together. Yeah. Would you ever, because a lot of fans want to know this, mm -hmm. would you ever, ever consider to take part again in the future? <laughs> <laughs> Even the artist. <laughs> Finland, I mean, you, you talk. Well, uh, I've been in, in the Eurovision three decades, and I'm not that old. I mean, but, uh, you know, when you say that you've been in there three decades, you know, three, uh, then you feel kind of old. But, but you know, so the, th the last time was with the Invincible, and I, I felt, I felt it was, I couldn't do better. I mean, I did my best, and I think that's, that's when you feel content. I, I did what I could do, you know? And then uh, Hard Rock Hallelujah came and, yeah. <laughs> and, and took the first place. And, and, you know, that's totally fine because as, as long as you've done what you believe you could have done, you know, then... But they kind of came to me afterward yeah. and asked, and, you know, they're like, we are not the devil, you know? They're like, we are not demons. <laughs> I really do believe in God, Crow. <laughs> you know, yeah. it's kind of funny, you know? You meet all these things in, in the backstage. Yeah. But you know, to answer your question, I don't know. I think everything has its season. Right now, I don't feel it's the right thing for me. Yeah. I feel I, I can come back today and give what I have in my heart and, and do what I'm doing still, you know. And I will travel. I, will, I just came from Russia and I will go back to Russia and I will... I'm looking forward to go out in the Euro, European countries more. Yeah, even if the record company says, you know, that you don't sell so much out in the eastern countries because of the pirate stuff. But I, I'm into people. I want to have concerts. I want to play music. I want to sing. Mm -hmm. So you're going to see me singing more out, out in, the, in the European countries. Good for all of us. I have one question for you too, because there is some... Dutch media here as well, yeah. and uh, the Netherlands have had a tough time in the Eurovision Song Contest, not qualifying for the final for eight years in a row. Um, this year, the Netherlands put their hopes on, uh, on Anouk, uh, with the song Birds, and I'm just wondering, what does the Eurovision Song Contest mean for the people in Sweden, and especially for artists, for the music industry? Well, it changed because now it's music that you can hear on the radio. So now it's more, you know, like uh, up-to-date modern pop songs. You know, it's not especially Schlager songs. Um, so I think as long as, as there is a credibility and a integrity in an artist, you know, if it's just a gimmick, then it's fun for a while. Ha <laughs> ha! And then you laugh and then it's over. <laughs> but if it's uh, if it's uh, integrity in the artist, then uh, then it will last. Of course, it depends on on a lot of different choices and the management and stuff. But absolutely, I believe you you will be hearing those songs on the radio in Sweden, in Stockholm, and all over, hopefully the world. I mean, you can see your vision in in Australia or in South Africa. I just came from South Africa. And, you know, you can see your vision all over, and that's so cool. So as long as you you know, that's, that's so interesting with your vision because if, even if it's like perfect, it, you know, it's about the, the magic in a way. Like Alexander Rybak, when he just played that violin and ooh, you got goosebumps, you just felt like this is going to happen. And then, and then this rock band comes and just, you know, does something to you. It's, it's interesting. Um, but I am... Um, it's very big in Sweden, you know, Eurovision Song Contest is huge in Sweden, it's, it's, a, it's a movement and it's quite, for us established artists, it's a little bit different to come and, and be involved because it's very good for, for the new artist and I celebrate that. I love to coach and mentor other artists, younger artists, 
So that's what I'm doing today too, and having my own music school, kind of artist school. So um, anyone that wants to have some uh, secrets from me can just line up. <laughs> okay, you can line up. Uh, Carola, small question. Do you, do you know Johnny Logan? Yeah. Do you know his nickname amongst Eurovision fans? No. Nope. You don't? No. Nope. Okay, I will help you. Um, fans call him Mr. Eurovision. Okay. But we're still waiting for a Miss Mrs. Eurovision. Oh, to win it twice, you mean? No, not only win. I think the, the woman who has done best in Eurovision. And wouldn't that be you? Well, you did a great job. You managed to <laughs> make it to the top five three times. You even won it. So I would like to call on Siska on stage. Because on behalf of all of your Eurovision fans, we think it's time for you to become Miss Eurovision. Almost as good as meeting the king. <laughs> wow, but this, wow, what an honor. Thank you very much. Look at this. I have to enjoy, as you said before, you know, Samia, so I'm enjoying. Thank you very much. Okay, great. I think it's the time of the mic. Thank you, Anne. Please stay here, Carola, because we're going to make a photo shoot all together with all delegations. And I would like to ask you all to step forwards, and journalists and um, photographers can come forwards to make their photos. And we would like to thank you all. Yeah, I might let you one more time.